Hello, world. I am joined today with uh, a special guest by the name of Tamara King. And the first video I had on my uh, YouTube channel was my testimony. And I'll simply be having her share a little bit of hers. So the first question that I have for you, Tamara, today is how long have you been on this Christian walk? Um, well, I kind of grew up in the church since birth, like did all the Christmas plays, all the Easter speeches and stuff like that. But I didn't start like a personal walk with God until like the transition from like high school to college. So like 2018-ish, that's when I like started seeking God for myself and not just based on like what people tell me or, you know, just going to church and stuff. You said around 2018? Yeah. So like a good three years? Yes, almost four, yeah. All right, um, follow-up question. What sparked your interest in following Christ more deeply? Um, it would be like, you know, I just wanna know God for myself. Like, you know, they always say God is a personal God, but here I am just, doing the bare minimum and just going to church and that's about it. So I'm like, let me pursue God for myself, get to know who he is. Okay, okay. Was it like random or did something occur that made you wanna? Because I know, uh, I know for me, something happened in my life. No, it was just a personal decision. It wasn't anything specific. Um, I just, Honestly, I was just like, I don't want to go to hell. So <laughs> let me let me get my life together. I mean, that's 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 a good reason. That's a good reason. And I believe like after following him, you came to know that you wanted to do it um, out of your own heart, out of your own desire, and not just because of the hell aspect, right? Yeah, of course. Um, my next question would be, how is the journey? Is it an easy one or a hard one out of your three to almost four years of doing this walk? Um, it's a hard one, honestly. Like, I don't know like, like if everyone has this, but me, I had this like misconception, like when you give your life to God, like it's y'all peaches and creams, like a walk in the park. But I would say your life gets harder because you have the devil coming at you, you have your own flesh, and then like you're being changed and renewed by God. So all those compounding together, it's just like, Arr. So, yeah. So you said, you would say that it's a difficult up and down journey? Yes. Difficult yet rewarding. I like that difficult yet rewarding. You know, I also find it to be a difficult up and down journey, but I believe um, every step of the way, it is definitely worth it. It is definitely worth of it. Of course. Um, would you give some like examples of how you find it to be difficult? Do you do you think that other people that are like non-Christian live, live better lives or? Um, on the surface, yeah, because even myself, like, I'm like, they get to go out and party, they live a carefree life, you know, they don't, they just do what they want, but that's, that's just a facade, you know, like, that's... You think, so you think, you think it's a facade for everybody, or some people are just, like, actually, like, living apart from God? Um... Yeah, I think it's a facade. Even if you enjoy that life, that doesn't mean that you're actually happy or you're actually fulfilled. You know, if you're not living with God, then you're you're unsatisfied no matter what, no matter what you think. Mm, um, yes. We deceive yes. ourselves all the time. So that is you may think you're living the life and you're dead spiritually. Yeah, anyone apart from Christ is is spiritually dead yeah thank you for the beautiful response um you're throwing them at me and then, <laughs> and then my last question would be advice for those starting out on the walk um have patience 
this is something I have to tell myself all the time because like, especially now in 2021, like it's such a fast paced world. Like you can order something on Amazon and it can literally come the next day, but that's not sanctification. It's a process. You have to trust the process. Just because you got baptized yesterday doesn't mean you're Jesus. It's like, <laughs> no, let's slow it down. Let's be diligent. Let's stay in our word, which is something I honestly struggle with. So I'm preaching to myself right now. You know, you just have to stay disciplined. And, right, you know, I'm, I'm, just I'm trust right God and that he's... He said, huh? he said, I'm, I said, I'm going to write a couple of those down. He said, stay in the word. Yes. Patience. And continue. Um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh, we were talking about the advice for those starting out. You were saying, stay oh, yes. word, patience. Stay diligent. Don't give up. That's what the enemy wants you to do. He wants you to get tired of it and he wants you to throw in a towel. But the race is not giving to the swift nor strong, it's given to he that endures. Mm. Love it. I love it. <laughs> Yes. Well, shoot. I don't want to uh, keep you too long. I want to. I want to thank you all so much for your time today. And thank you for having me. No problem. No problem. Anytime. And before I sign out, do you want to leave the people with a last word or? Last word. Um, Jesus is coming soon. Let's get our lives together. I want us to party in heaven. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, so y'all heard it first, everybody. Jesus is coming soon. Y'all got to get y'all lives together. 10-4. All right, bye. All right, see you. Later.